situation where God can use me. I have faith enough to believe that I will not be deceived. I will not be overtaken by the devil. I will not be tricked by his tactics. I will not fall prey to the same old junk that he's been tripping me up in all of my life. But today, the reason why I came to prayer is to declare that I'm on the Lord's side. Because the little imps that you think you're fighting, listen, your warfare is bigger than what you think it is. And so he said, while you walk around talking about Satan, I'll rebuke you. Satan, I bind you. It's bigger than that. It's more strategic than that. But I cannot show that to the wicked. I can only reveal that to the righteous because once you know Satan's tactics and where he is hiding, he can never, ever, ever again take possession of your family, your things, your mind, your spirit, your ministry. He becomes a defeated foe when you get the knowledge of his kingdom. And so we have to study his kingdom. We have to find out every area that he's hidden in. We got to snuff him out like a bloodhound. We got to find out where he's hiding. We got to find out what he is. He blanketed with deception. And so the reason why we don't see him for who he is. Do you see spiritual deception? Because see, the devil can have us to come in here for prayer and stop. Oh, we just glorify. And in the spirit realm, the Holy Spirit is weeping and travailing. But we miss him because we don't know him. When I have a relationship with him, I draw strength. And I don't just draw strength. I draw strength with his boundless might provides. You don't hear what I'm saying? Which means when I'm at my weakest state, I can then do things in the supernatural. I can then perform the impossible because now I'm not on my own strength. I'm carrying and I'm grabbing strength from the one that has boundless might. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't understand my boundless. That means there's no limitations in what can take place with the righteous praise. Then there is no boundaries that you can there is no demon that cannot be shut down by what comes out of your mouth. That means I'll pray to exhaustion. I'll pray till I can't stand up. But I'll hold on as that I feel like fainting. But I'm not going to faint because I know that weeping may endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning. sing a song that says I want God to use me anytime and anywhere some of y'all don't know that song she said I want to live so God can use me anytime Lord anywhere I want to live so God can use me Anytime, Lord, anywhere, anywhere, Lord, anywhere, anywhere, Lord, anywhere, I want to live so God can use me anytime, Lord, and anywhere. I remember one day I was in the kitchen and I was just going through the, walking through the house and my grandmother was doing the dishes. And I, I, I don't know, maybe that day I was feeling spiritual and I was walking through the house and I, I came through the kitchen going back in the back where the, where the washing machine was and I was like, yes, yeah. And she stopped me, she said, baby, don't sing that song because that's a yielded man song. She said, I want you to be careful about songs you sing because songs that your life haven't made a commitment to you walk around here singing a lie. She said, don't sing the yes Lord songs and I want to live so God can use me unless you have yielded to the Holy Spirit. See, listen, because we're living in a spiritual decade, everybody wants to be spiritual, but not many people want to be yielded. They want to be spiritual as long as their lifestyle isn't connected to that spirituality. But in this next go round in 